and my wife and my family, we go to church and our biggest thing is, is to serve. Serve, serve, serve. So, so we can't go to the church, where else can we serve? People, we can serve people, we're called to people. So I feel like, um, why not start here in, in, in the place where I live, in the community where people can actually see you in the person. Although we can't physically meet at our church, we wanted to see what we can do as a couple, as a family, for our community. So we started going to neighbor's house, knocking on doors. around the neighborhood checking on our neighbors to see if you guys needed anything. A uh, pair of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I feel boring to be in the house. They have them in school. They, they can't go to the park. Nothing is in the house. I love to serve people. I love to reach out to people and to see what they need. If they need something to talk to, even just a conversation. Tithing and giving is probably one of the most important things for us because we know the blessing that comes out of it. We're living proof of the blessing. So even though this is a hard time, money is low, God made the perfect system, the 10%. All I have to give is 10%. And everybody that does give and, and, and continues to, to send their tithe in, even though they can't come, the thing that they're doing is they're helping those resource, resources that, that we're giving to other people. We're helping those stay open, stay full so that people can come. If we don't tithe, if we're not doing it, who is? Like no one's gonna just step up and just give it up. Like we have to do our part. And, and as a family, we chose to do our part. And that's what we do. Hey family, I wanted to share a few thoughts with you around giving this weekend. You know, when I think about an unselfish giver, very quickly, I think there's three characteristics that come in mind when we look at what an unselfish giver looks like. I wanna share those with you for a moment. The first characteristic of an unselfish giver is it is an honor to put God first, not second or not last. Proverbs 3 and verse nine makes this very clear to us that says, honor the Lord with your wealth and with your first fruits of all your produce, then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vests will be bursting with wine. When we honor God and realize that it is an honor to give to him, then he gives a promise to us. Family, it is a privilege for us to honor God through our giving, to worship God through our giving. Not giving him the last or the bottom of the barrel, but to give him the very first so that he can continue to bless it, so that our barns will be bursting. The second characteristic is that they desire to prove that God's word and promises are true. Malachi 3, a familiar chapter to many of us in verse 10, says, bring the full tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and thereby put me to the test, says the Lord, of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down a blessing until there is no more need. I don't know about you, but this is a time where I need heaven to open up. And if we desire heaven to open up and to fill our household and to fill our families, then we need to test God where he says to test him. And that is in the area of our giving. So as you give, you are testing God. What is he going to do in this season? And I promise you, he is about to open up heaven if he is not already doing so within your household and within your family. The last characteristic of an unselfish giver is they are planners. In 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 7, it says each one of us must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Just as I plan on what I'm going to wear for the day or I plan on where I'm going to go for vacation, you and I family should plan to give. Why? Because it is a joy to give to God. It is an honor to give to God. It is a worship that we are able to give to God. So Abundant Living thanks you for partnering with us during this season. Whether this is your home church or you are tuning in for the first time, we want to say thank you for partnering with us so that we can continue to share the gospel 
beyond these four walls, in our community, in our nation, and around the world. Thank you for being obedient and giving to God during this season. God bless.